everyone uh, welcome to uh, this slide we'll talk about MRO in this class uh, now MRO is the one of the most important features of uh, object oriented programming in Python uh, it's uh, abbreviated as method resolution order and what it does it determines the execution of methods in a child class depending on the various order of uh, inheritances for only for uh, multiple inheritance okay so i'll give you an example and show it straight away so uh, let's consider this suppose you have a class called parent i'll show you example also directly by executing in terminal let's first check it suppose you have a class parent that is p1 and I have nothing inside it's a old style class I have a class called p2 uh, where I this is also a old style class and uh, it has two methods one is foo one is bar uh, it's saying uh, foo is uh, printing p2 foo and bar is printing p2 bar then we have uh, sorry then I have two children c1 and c2 both are inherited with p1 and p2 in c1 i don't have anything inside a body and c2 i have a only one method called bar and it prints c2 bar then i have a grandchild uh, with gc which is inherited by c1 and c2 uh, so and it doesn't have anything so uh, this is the whole structure of this flow where i have p1 p2 where i have two methods c1 c2 where i have one method and gc and uh, this is very uh, very good think of it as your grandfather she is your grandmother uh, this is he is your father she is your mother and gc is you so and these are the various attributes you have so let's see how it works in old style classes if you do if you instantiate gc and type foo it will directly print p2 foo if you print uh, if you execute bar it will directly print p2 bar let me show you once again you type foo here it will look for foo foo in gc then it will not found it will not find then it will go to c1 it will not find then it will go to p1 it will not find then it will go to p2 it will find that and it will execute that then you are again coming to gc you are trying to execute bar it goes to c1 doesn't find it then go to p1 doesn't find it then it go to p2 it finds it then it executes it but if you see your mother c2 is uh, much near to you as compared to your grandmother i mean uh, the generation gap is very less as compared to your grandmother that you have with your mother so you should actually inherit this bar instead of this bar so that was one of the flaws we had in python old style classes due to that we had uh, the developers of python had to redesign its code and in python 2.3 uh, the concept of new style classes has been introduced and uh, we have something called object we used to inherit that with uh, every class with objects and that solves this problem so let's see what happens in new style classes you instantiate you execute foo it prints b2 foo you execute g uh, uh, gc dot bar you it prints c2 bar let's see it goes here for foo doesn't find it go to c1 doesn't find it go to c2 doesn't find it then it goes to p1 again doesn't find it then it go to p2 and it finds it and execute 
then coming back to GC again it, it when you try to execute bar it goes to C1 doesn't find it it goes to C2 and it finds it and executes it so now it doesn't have to go to its grandfather and grandmother's level to find var so this has fixed the problem uh, let me show you by doing this in terminal creating old style classes here who self print p2 who def bar self print p2 bar then I create class c1 inherited it p1 comma p2 and pass I create another class c2 p1 comma p2 def bar self print c2 bar then I have class gc c1 c2 pass now gc equals to gc dot Sorry, in, I have instant. I had to instantiate it. Dot foo. It says p two foo. Then if I do bar, it's saying p two bar exactly how I have explained. Now let's try to create all the classes with new style Python classes. I just have to inherit object here. Same with P2. Object. I have to redefine C1, C2. I don't have to change it. And also GC. Okay. Now let's instantiate GC dot it's p2 foo as usual if you go to gc bar it's saying c2 bar the way we have explained so that's all with mro oh sorry i just missed something okay uh, till now we have known that uh, mro fails in old style classes that's why we have invented invented new style classes uh, but MRO actually fails for new style classes also uh, let me show you this example it's a diamond diamond uh, type class structure where we have created two classes A and B we have inherited both with object then we have created a C and inherited with A and B as you can see here now this doesn't have any init method init means the constructor class I have created my own init for B so when you create when you instantiate this it will it will take objects in it and if you instantiate it it will take its own in it now I have instantiated C now this should actually instantiate uh, as you have defined in it for B it should actually uh, execute this but it uh, it, ex it executes object uh, the init of object so uh, that is one demerit that we have uh, with MRO classes in 
diamond structure only so that's all we'll talk about other things in the next class bye bye